Why, how you doing, sir? Good, good. Great. We will start with Ohm. Hey, Kawhi. Um, given how much you guys were talking about how motivated you guys were after how everything ended in the bubble last season, well, how good was it to basically not to hold on to that lead against the defending champs and also to see PG bounce back like he did in that second half? I mean, it was good. Um, I'm not thinking about last year. Uh, it's a different team. Um, you know, I'm just happy that we uh, kept playing basketball the right way pretty much. Um, even if we lost the, lost the game, the lead, uh, you know, we, we turned around, we stayed positive. Uh, we kept playing our basketball pretty much. Um, we ran our offense. And, um, you know, that, that's what I'm, uh, you know, I take pride in tonight, that everybody uh, had each other's back and speaking positive. And, uh, you know, we kept communicating on the floor and uh, we pushed out a win. And what did you see from Paul in that second half when he got hot? Ty said uh, that Paul showed him that he was unstoppable. Um, got to his spots. Uh, he was taking his time, uh, you know, found his rhythm, um, kept pushing it from there. And, uh, you know, him making those shots, uh, you know, it helped us. But, you know, the big thing is that, you know, once they, once the Lakers start scoring, started scoring the ball, we stayed positive and we started getting stops. And that led to Paul um, getting the rhythm on the offense again. Thank you. Move over to Rachel Nichols. Hey, Kawhi. Uh, I heard you say earlier about how one of your goals this year is to have that on-court chemistry. How much of that did you feel out there tonight? You've got some new additions. Uh, I think we're still working and went, went into a crew, but um, like I was just saying, I just appreciate everyone um, staying locked in and focused and just being positive and, you know, keeping their heads up. Well, um, you know, once we've seen the, um, the league going down, uh, you know, we talked to each other. We tried to figure out what was going on. And um, we came out in the second half and playing good basketball. We ended that third quarter well and uh, finished the fourth quarter uh, pretty good, too. So um, that's what I take pride in, um, not to miss or make shots. Uh, as long as we communicate on the floor, doing our defensive jobs, uh, I mean, it just feels good out there to play basketball. Thanks. We'll go over to Tomer. Hey, Kawhi, uh, congrats on the win. Um, I just want to know, this, you guys have like two second, two, two starting units, essentially, with, with Zoo coming off the bench. Pat was talking about how he's a big body. He's not just a traditional backup, I guess. What, what, is, the different, what is the versatility that both units give you um, when it comes to shooting, defense, stuff like that? Um, Zoo's good. Uh, you know what I mean? He started all last year, of course, uh, throughout the regular season in the playoffs. And, um, you know, he plays defense well. Um, he does a great job of protecting the rim, um, making guys change their shots. He might not get a lot of blocks, but um, he's trying to contest uh, layups, uh, dunks. He's putting his body in front of uh, the point guards or whoever is driving the ball to the paint. And, you know, that's big for us um, to have a guy like that coming off the bench. And, you know, Serge is doing a good job, too, uh, you know, I think uh, in the past decade, he was the leading shot block. Um, it's a little underrated right there, but, um, you know, I think a lot of people don't know that. Um, so he's a good rim protector, a uh, good big that can stress the floor, um, you know, very focused out there. And uh, it's going to go a long way. We just want to keep building off of it. Thank you. We'll go over to Nick Hamilton. Hey, Kawan, congrats on the win. Um, you talk a lot about just the positivity and the team chemistry. Um, where do you see that continuing to develop? I know it's only one game, but how do you see that continuing to develop and being able to uh, allow you guys to get victories, especially uh, stay poisoned when, you, when you're losing leads like that? Uh, I mean, it's just going gonna, gonna to help us. Uh, as, long as, that, as long as we are, are doing our job, um, what we write on that board, what we talk about and shoot around and, you know, limit our mistakes. Uh, that's where the team chemistry comes from. And, you know, you, you know, when things are not going well, uh, you need that, uh, you know, uh, positive uh, criticism um, pretty much. And, um, you know, that's going to, you know, push guys to either play better or if they are, um, you know, miscommunicating on the floor or missing reads on, on either end, I think it would help if uh, 
everybody steps up to say something. Um, but like I said, it is game one. Uh, we want to keep building on it and have the same energy uh, night after night. So, um, you know, we're not there yet. Um, it's a long season ahead of us. We got time for two more. We'll go to Farbod first. Hey, Kawhi, uh, last season, PG had mentioned he, he wanted to make your life easier as a leader. And tonight really seemed like that type of game where he was able to just step in and handle all the pressure. What did you see from him in terms of him being a leader tonight? I'm just being talkative. But, I mean, just because somebody makes shots does not mean, you know, they're being a leader. Um, you, can't, you can't just um, say that. Um, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, last year in the playoffs when he was missing shots, he was still talking, communicating, playing the right way, playing defense. Um, they just didn't fall for him. And, you know, tonight his shots fail. But um, obviously uh, he is making my job easier um, by talking to people and, you know, like I said, giving um, instructions, instructions on, you know, missed assignments or um, if we're not running the plays right. But, um, you know, you just can't say you're a leader because you, you're making shots. I don't think that's fair. And Thomas, you can go ahead. Uh, hey, Kawhi. I just kind of wanted to, um, you know, really get your thoughts just on what you thought about the new offense. I know Ty spoke about incorporating the triangle. Did you feel the movement tonight and um, and just kind of the way that the ball was moving and wasn't sticking? Yeah, I felt the movement. Uh, you know what I mean? Uh, you know, we got to a couple of isolations uh, when we needed to. But for the most part, everybody's trying to play the right way. And, you know, when you see that on the floor, the ball is hopping, guys are getting shots, getting, getting uh, you know, the shots that they want, um, it, it's great. Uh, you know, it just builds a, a team camaraderie from there. And I think, uh, you know, we, we still want, want to improve. At times, they did get stuck. But, um, you know, it's the first game. It was a quick summer for everyone. And, uh, yeah, let's we'll, we'll just keep going, staying focused. Thanks, Kawhi. Have a good night. All right. Let's get ready for Hoop Jab. <laughs>